Hey guys, it's Quelly Diaries back with another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, like, share this video to my returning subscribers. To my returning subscribers. You know I love you guys. In this video, I will be sharing five reasons why glycerin will not dry your hair out, even if it's hot, even if you are in a dry climate or really cold weather. Guys, we need to talk about this and I'm going to give you five reasons why I think that there has been a myth going around and why glycerin actually will not dry your hair out, girl. You're missing out on moisturized hair. <laughs> if you have dry hair and you're struggling with your dry hair, you're struggling with breakage, length retention, this channel is for you, okay? Because I understand those things. I have gone through those things. I have found ways to keep my hair hydrated and moisturized for weeks. And I'm here sharing all of that on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Glycerin is a humectant and the purpose of a humectant is to attract moisture from the atmosphere into the hair. Glycerin is also the strongest humectant, which means that it's powerful. <laughs> okay, so for a long time, especially in the natural hair streets, it has been believed that while glycerin can be really hydrating, really moisturizing, keep your hair soft, supple, all of that good stuff, it can also work against you because of the simple functionality that glycerin has, which is to attract moisture you know, from the atmosphere into your hair. So the understanding was that if you put glycerin in your hair and the weather is actually cold or dry or it's not as humid, then the moisture will go from the hair into the atmosphere, which makes sense, right? It makes sense because the humectant will take moisture from wherever the moisture is and put it where the moisture is not. <laughs> so I understand why people believe that. However, even though this assumption is based on the knowledge that we have on what glycerin does, there are a few things to consider and I'm gonna give you five reasons why I believe that you can use glycerin in whatever climate. Glycerin is strongest when used as 100% glycerin. So that's reason number one. You never use glycerin at 100%. Like, no, we all know that before you even think about using glycerin, yeah, you need to learn lesson number one, which is that it needs to be diluted with water or some kind of other liquid, you know, to dilute it. It's like essential oils a little bit. You can't use it directly. If you use glycerin 100%, you're going to have major problems. And I believe that is when you can actually see your hair drying out because you're using 100% glycerin. So its effect will be 100% to do what it does, which is to just dry your hair out by taking all the moisture out and into the atmosphere. However, we know never, ever, ever, ever use glycerin at 100%. Number two is that in all of my research, I have not found any substantial evidence that glycerin will indeed dry your hair out in drier or, you know, less humid climates. Um, and because of that, uh, I would like to differ that, um, yeah, I know we've had a certain belief about glycerin, but this belief has been solely based on our assumption of how glycerin works and there's no research on it. No one has ever said glycerin will do this to you, particularly if you're using it the right way. So the research does not support the myth that glycerin will dry your hair out. Manufacturers of hair products and other products containing glycerin say nothing about or use glycerin in humid weather or use glycerin in winter or summer. No one says that. They just formulate the product, period, which means it's not weather sensitive. You know, it's not formulated to be weather sensitive. And while yes, you can have moisturized hair and maybe you are not able to hold up your styles or your curls in place because the product has got so much glycerin there is nothing pertaining to dryness when it comes to products that are formulated with glycerin. And I'm saying products that even have glycerin in the top two, top three, top five of the ingredient list, guys, 
no manufacturer none, none that i've seen correct me if i'm wrong if you have a product like that let me know but all the products that i have some are very high in glycerin and there's no instruction of how to use it in specific climate so busted <laughs> Another point I want to raise is that products are usually formulated in balance. So even if a product is high in glycerin, it usually contains other ingredients to help balance out the effect or the strong, you know, action that glycerin can have on your hair and your skin maybe. So things like occlusives, things like emollients those things help to keep moisture for longer just help balance things out that way the product works in such a way that the glycerin that is part of the whole product will not dry your hair out the last point i want to raise is that i have experienced glycerin in different seasons winter summer you know spring what you might call spring like my hair was not dry and i use quite a bit of glycerin i use about quarter glycerin in whatever spritz i make so personally my personal experience is that glycerin has not dried my hair yes if it's like i live in a desert right alice springs australia and <laughs> it's a coincidence i guess but it's a good place to experiment glycerin because this place is dry usually dry guys hot dry i'm not saying it's not cold sometimes or humid etc we do get weather like that but usually the majority of the time throughout the year it's hot it's dry okay i have not experienced my hair dry during that time and even if the humidity is very low i might get hair that's less soft than usual i might get hair that's not as hydrated or as moisturized as usual but it's not dry it still has the glycerin effect it's still soft it's still hydrated it's good enough for me so if you're not using glycerin because you're afraid that it's gonna dry your hair out i hope this video has helped you given you a better understanding better direction i'll put a link below to some uh articles and maybe a video that you can also watch in depth about someone that explored glycerin you know documented the whole thing guys yeah she also did not experience dryness so i am pro glycerin and i can attest to its goodness i have seen it in many products a lot of people that have used my spritz have seen really tremendous uh, results with glycerin and if you're struggling with dry hair it's definitely worth a try all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe until next time it's coily diaries bye Thank you.